Spanish Opinions 1 Today we're going to be looking at the simple question Te gusta, which literally means do you like? We're going to be learning how to give basic opinions in response to the question do you like? The ability to express your opinions is a vital part of communication. The verb gustar is the most commonly used verb so we will look at gustar and verbs that follow the same pattern. Although it translates as to like or taste, think of it as meaning to please this will help you understand how and why it changes. First let's look at a range of different opinions you can express in Spanish from positive through to negative. Me chifla, I'm crazy about. Me encanta, I love. Me gusta mucho, I like a lot. Me gusta, I like. No me gusta, I don't like. No me gusta nada, I don't like at all. Y me molesta. Something annoys me. Copy these opinions down as you will be using them later in the lesson. The N in brackets is because if the word refers to a plural noun, then you must include it on the end of the opinion. That is because they would be doing the pleasing instead of it. If you're not sure how to work out if a noun is singular or plural, look at the definite article, the word for the, to find out. For more information on definite articles or how verbs work, watch the other grammar videos on the Grammar Evolution YouTube channel. We will look at these verbs in relation to some common pastimes, school subjects and food. This is to show how transferable your knowledge can be. Just to recap, here are the opinions. Me chifla, I'm crazy about. Me encanta, I love. Me gusta mucho, I like a lot. Me gusta, I like. No me gusta, I don't like. No me gusta nada, I don't like at all, and me molesta, something annoys me. How do they work? Well, in English we would say I like tennis. However, in Spanish this would translate as me gusta el tenis, or I like the tennis. In order to express opinions correctly, you therefore need to know the gender, masculine or feminine, and number, singular or plural, of the nouns you wish to express an opinion about especially if your answer to the question is different to the noun in the question. For example, ¿Te gusta el tenis? No, no me gusta nada el tenis. Me gusta la natación. Notice how you needed to know the gender of natación in order to get la before it and use it correctly. First, let's look at a range of different opinions in some different contexts to see how easy it is to transfer your knowledge. Here are some useful pastimes and sports that you could use. El fútbol, el ciclismo, el baloncesto, la natación, la equitación, la escalada, los videojuegos, las cartas. Now some of them might be quite obvious. For example, el fútbol is soccer, football, el ciclismo, el baloncesto, basketball, la natación, swimming, La equitación, horse riding. La escalada is climbing. Los videojuegos, video games or computer games. Las cartas, cards. Now, as I said before, the definite articles el, la, los, las give an indication of the gender. You can see in the turquoise box on the right there are some reminders. Now, see if you can work out these phrases. Por ejemplo, ¿Cómo se dice? I love basketball in español. Me encanta el baloncesto. ¿Cómo se dice I don't like cycling en español? No me gusta el ciclismo. ¿Cómo se dice I'm crazy about video games en español? Me chiflan los videojuegos. Notice how we use chiflan instead of chifla because it's plural, los videojuegos. Como se dice, I really like football. Me gusta mucho el fútbol. Y para terminar, como se dice, climbing really annoys me. Me molesta la escalada. Now let's look at some different words in a new context, in the context of food, for example. El pan, bread. El queso, cheese. El pollo, chicken. La ensalada, salad. La salsa, sauce. La pasta, pasta. 
Los churros are the Spanish answer to donuts. They're basically long, thin donuts, which you might dip in warm chocolate, for example. Very tasty. Los churros y las patatas fritas. Chips. Vale, por ejemplo, ¿cómo se dice I love chicken en español? Me encanta el pollo. ¿Cómo se dice I like pasta en español? Me gusta la pasta. ¿Cómo se dice I'm crazy about cheese en español? Me chifla el queso. ¿Cómo se dice I don't like churros at all? No me gustan nada los churros. Notice how the N, because churros is plural. Para terminar, ¿cómo se dice I really like chips en español? Se dice me gustan mucho las patatas fritas. Notice again how it's me gustan, so the N, because patatas fritas are plural and they are doing the pleasing. Lastly, some school subjects. Tenemos el dibujo. Art, el francés, French, el español, Spanish, la química, chemistry, la tecnología, design technology, la informática, ICT or computer studies, los deportes, and las ciencias. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo se dice en español? I like French. Me gusta el francés. ¿Y cómo se dice? I don't like chemistry at all. No me gusta nada la química. ¿Cómo se dice I'm crazy about Spanish en español? Me chifla el español. ¿Cómo se dice sciences really annoy me? Me molestan las ciencias. Notice how the N is on the end of molestan because of the Ciencias being plural. Y para terminar, ¿cómo se dice I love sports? Me encantan los deportes. Muy bien, vamos a continuar. Here we have five phrases in Spanish. Pause the recording and see if you can write down the phrases with their English translation. Look to the top half of the screen if you need to and correct any mistakes after you've done the activity. This will help you to learn from your mistakes. So pause the recording now. Número uno, me molesta el dibujo. Art annoys me. Número dos, me gustan mucho las patatas fritas. I really like chips. Número tres, me chifla la natación. I'm crazy about swimming. Número cuatro, me encanta el pan. I love bread. Número cinco, me gusta la química. I like chemistry. Now see if you can write these phrases in Spanish. Again, use the top of the screen if you have to, but pause the recording, write down the English and the Spanish, and then once you restart the recording, correct your answers if you make any mistakes so that you can learn from them. Número uno. ¿Cómo se escribe I don't like climbing en español? Se escribe No me gusta la escalada. ¿Cómo se escribe I'm crazy about chicken en español? Se escribe Me chifla el pollo. ¿Cómo se dice sports annoy me? Se escribe Me molestan los deportes. ¿Cómo se escribe I love salad en español? Me encanta la ensalada. Y para terminar, número 5. ¿Cómo se escribe I really like video games en español? Me gustan mucho los videojuegos. Now let me give you some random questions about all these different bits of vocab we've looked at today. Now the most simple response you can give to te gusta is me gusta. Now if you want to be a little bit more creative in your response, you can obviously use any of the other options we've looked at today. From me encanta, me chifla, me molesta. Okay, so if you get stuck, just come back with a, a response like me gusta to give you some thinking time. But as I said, if you want to be more creative, use one of the other options. Por ejemplo, número uno. ¿Te gusta el ciclismo? Número dos. 
Número 2. ¿Te gusta la pasta? Número 3. ¿Te gustan las ciencias? Número 4. ¿Te gusta el pollo? Número 5. ¿Te gusta el dibujo? How did you get on? Did you manage to come up with an answer for each question? If you didn't quite manage it, maybe go back earlier in the presentation and note down some of the vocabulary. Then you might feel more confident when it comes to answering the questions. Our objective today was to look at Spanish opinions using the question phrase Te gusta, but look at various other options when answering. So we've learned how to give basic opinions in response to the question, do you like? Muy bien. Adios.